Hello everybody and welcome. In this video, we will look at six ways to use Excel's sum if function. For starters, if you're not familiar with the sum if, think of it as circumstantial addition. What you want to do is add things up when they meet a specific set of conditions. Let's see an example. Let's say we work at a pet food company. Taking a quick peek at our data, here we have our geographic regions, the product type, and some sales. And just for starters, let's say we want to add up just the sales from the south. And you guessed it, we'll use the sum if to solve it. We'll start off by clicking the FX icon, then we'll do a search for sum if, and we want to make sure to choose the sum if, not the sum ifs, we'll use that one later. So we'll choose sum if, and in this case, the range will be our regions, so we'll select that. The criteria is going to be the south, so we'll type in the word south. And for the sum range, let's select our sales, press enter, and there you go. So what happened is Excel looked at our list, it found all the instances of south, then it jumped over here into the sales column, added up the individual amount, and showed us the grand total. Moving on, let's say the boss wants to see the total amount of sales that are over $7,500. Or put another way, if the sale amount is over $7,500, add it up. If it's under $7,500, don't add it up. Let's go up here and click our FX icon, then choose sum if. The range in this case will be our sales numbers, so we'll select that. And for the criteria, we'll type out greater than or equal to 7,500. Click OK, and there we go. Let's say we want to add up the total sales of our large and small bags. In this case, we can use the wildcard character to help us out. So what the wildcard will do is it will return all the characters it finds before the word, in this case, the word bag. So what we'll do is click on our FX icon, do a search for sum if, for the range, we'll select our products, and down here where it says criteria, we'll lead off by typing an asterisk, then the word bag. From there, we'll select our sum range, click OK, and right there you have it. So there you have a real quick overview of the sum if. Overall, not too bad, yet you can make the case that the sum if is a little limited in the sense of it can only handle one set of conditions. Eh, put another way, it's kind of a one trick pony. So if you want to do more elaborate searches, you'd want to use the sum ifs. Let's take a look at that. So if you need to do multiple criteria, the sum ifs will be your go to. Let's see an example. In this case, the boss wants to see how many leashes we sold in the South. We'll click our FX, then do a search for sum if, and we want to make sure that we select the sum ifs in this case. And now for the sum ifs, things behave a little different, but overall it's not too bad. We want to start off by selecting our sum range, then we'll select our regions. From there, we'll type out south because that's what we want. And for criteria two, let's select our product column and then type out leashes because we want that as well. Click OK. And there you go. Now let's take a look at how to add multiple criteria from the same column. For instance, let's say we want to add up the sales from the north and south. So logic says we can go up here and click our FX icon, choose the sum ifs, select our sales, then select our region, type out north, do a rinse and repeat by selecting the region again, and type out south, press enter, and oh no. We didn't quite get what we expected. So to solve this, we have a couple choices. The first choice is to use something called an array, but we don't want to do that because they're honestly a headache in a suitcase. So let's skip that. So an easier way would be to type out what we're looking for. In this case, we'll type out north and south right here. From this point, we can go up and click on our FX icon, choose our sum ifs, and we'll start off by selecting our sum range. Then for our criteria, we'll select our region, then we'll jump over here and select our north and south, press enter, and then we get this funky response, which, okay, granted, isn't what we're looking for, but it is an easy fix. We can solve it by going up here into the formula bar, and then all we have to do is just wrap the sum ifs in a standard sum function. So we'll go up here and then type sum, open parentheses, click on the far right hand side of the formula balance out the parentheses, press enter, 
And there we go. A little funky, but not too bad. Moving on, let's go one step further. Let's say the boss wants to see the total sales of small bags from the north and south. All right, this guy's really starting to push it, but here's how we solve it. And I'll wager you probably have a good idea on how to do it. We can go up here and click our FX icon, choose the sum ifs, and we'll start off by selecting our sales. Then for criteria one, we'll select our region, jump over here, highlight north and south again. Next, for criteria two, we'll select our products, then type out small bag, click OK. Quite expectedly, we get this funky return type thing. And again, we can fix it by going up here and modifying the formula by wrapping the sum ifs with a standard sum function. And there we go. Okay, cheap plug time. By chance, you're looking to learn Excel and don't feel like searching around or paying a lot of money. We offer a free Excel course that will teach you all the Excel skills that employers crave. And you can find the link right here. And we'll see you in the next one.